What's up guys and welcome to the speed test that I have never done before. The S9 Plus with the Android 9.0 Pie based One UI takes on the iPhone XS Max with its latest iOS 12.1.2 update. The Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus is about to be almost one year old and it just got its biggest software update which is the One UI which is going to be the same UI you'll see on the Galaxy S10 family. So many new changes, the complete software experience is improved. I've already done my review on it so take a look at the description for that video link. But it's time to check out the performance with the One UI on the S9 Plus against its main rival the iPhone XS Max. So the iPhone XS Max obviously have a superior hardware compared to the Galaxy S9 Plus. We get a 7 nanometer chip on the iPhone XS Max versus 10 here on the S9 Plus. So it's been a year of this phone compared to a couple of months of this phone and still a very respectable score I would say uh, with this old chipset on the S9 Plus and uh, yeah these are the current scores on their software versions iOS 12.1.2 here and 9.0 Pi with one UI on the S9 Plus. So everything is closed in the background on both phones and uh, we're going to start off with the basic phone dialer. Here we go and uh, pretty quick on both phones I think the uh, animations were a bit faster on the S9 Plus. Let's uh, check out settings and uh, kind of the same result. Let's jump right into some third-party applications starting with Instagram and uh, that is I think a bit quicker on the iPhone Dennis Max with the latest feed. Uh, we can check out the performance here a little bit. As you can see scrolling looks pretty smooth on both phones no lag whatsoever same thing with zooming in and out let's uh, access the camera and uh, as you can see pretty quick I think iPhone is definitely snappy at that the Galaxy takes some time to open the camera that's just how Instagram works on Android compared to iOS and loading up my profile that is uh, about the same on both phones by the way follow me on Instagram I'm close to hitting 51k next we are launching the game which is going to be Subway Surfers and uh, let's see all right loading times faster on the S9 plus wow so that is nice surprise I would say because normally iPhone is really good with the game loading time so and the game performance obviously is a very smooth but uh, we'll move on to some more graphical intense stuff such as the Asphalt 9 so let's launch it at the same time on both phones and let's see okay the iPhone is on the loading page already the S9 Plus is still taking some time both phones are actually loading all right the iPhone yes the iPhone is done as expected a little bit quicker than the S9 Plus now also going to quickly start up a stage here just to have a bit more pressure on the RAM management let's just play this just a random stage on both phones and uh, by the way the S9 just got the 60 frames per second update for the iPhone um, so on Android it still runs on 30 FPS even though I'm pretty sure the hardware is capable of uh, uh, 60 FPS, but that's that so as you can see it looks Pretty stunning on the iPhone. I'm gotta say compared to the S9 plus So just gonna leave it there in the background But overall it runs pretty smooth on both phones next on the list is Alto Adventure That's another game and uh, Obviously we're gonna put some real pressure on the RAM on both phones and uh the S9 Plus was really quick there. We had that Wi-Fi thing. But yeah, this one was really, really fast despite that. And it's done. So we're just going to tap to start play. And this game runs also very smooth on both phones. So we're just going to go back. Spotify. And it's uh, faster on the S9 Plus. YouTube. Uh, faster on the S9 Plus. A uh, bit of a different feed, but this one was faster here. If we check out the scrolling, looks pretty smooth on both phones. Next we have Facebook. And I think a bit quicker feed here on the iPhone compared to the Galaxy S9 Plus. But uh, if we scroll down, scoring looks uh, pretty smooth on both phones, gotta say. No lag whatsoever. Next we have another game called as Pinout. 
and a tiny bit faster on the iPhone XS Max. Next we have PS Express. And about the same loading times. Now here I will be loading an 8K image on both phones at the same time. So go and the iPhone is a bit quicker. And I'm just going to apply some duotone effect which is the magenta effect on both pictures. As you can see just have it all the way to the max. And boom. Now we're going to export this image at the same time on both phones. Save to gallery, save to camera row and you can see it's quicker on the iPhone just a little bit quicker but uh, this one also did pretty good and last but not the least we have the camera opening on both phones and that is a little bit quicker on the iPhone XS Max okay next up is the browsing test we have the WWE.com on both phones so Safari on the iPhone and the um, the new internet browser from Samsung with the S9 Plus, as you can see with the dark UI. Um, the iPhone is the first one to come to the website, and it also finishes up quicker. If we check out the browser performance here, you can see actually really nice on both phones, zooming in and out. I wish there is like a dark mode for the Safari as well on the iPhone, but whereas on the One UI, this is one of the main features which you can easily enable or disable, and it really helps to uh, conserve battery life since these are both AMOLED displays. Next up, we have Samsung.com on both phones, and let's see, okay, I think that is really fast i think maybe the iphone was quicker yes it is actually a little bit faster there as you can see the website content and everything but still i have to say really snappy performance uh with the s9 plus on one ui compared to the iphone 10s max again a huge difference with the hardware let's check out the ram management so we open a lot of applications first up the phone dialer that is uh still there i think both one actually showed the bit of a white thingy so let's see settings still there instagram okay the app is still there but it just refreshed the content again you guys are the judge here subway surfer okay so it got refreshed on both phones let's check out asphalt 9 so the iphone kept the asphalt 9 in the memory i don't think i think yeah, it is refresh. I can't really touch anywhere. So normally I would just open application, but this time I was actually in the game. So maybe that did something. So the Galaxy loaded up the app, but it is sort of stuck here on the iPhone. Some bug is happening here. Wow, so not a very good RAM management representation from both phones. So let's see. Alto Adventure, that is still there on both phones. Okay, so... Good stuff. Spotify, still there on the iPhone. And next we have Facebook, and that is also still there. Just refresh the actual feed. Next we have Pinout, and that is still there. So a few applications got refreshed on both phones. Let's go back to Photoshop Express, and Galaxy did another uh, refresh with this app as well. So the iPhone, I definitely do think it's a bit better with the RAM management. Let's go back to the browsers on both phones that are still there as well so so overall i am impressed by the performance on the s9 plus after one year against the iphone 10s max uh, it was definitely not perfect as far as the ram management concern for both phones this one also slipped a bit in the ram management with the latest ios 12.1.2 but still all in all both phones are incredibly fast and again if you are thinking of buying the s9 plus which i think it's now like 500 something dollars used on some websites you can check out this is actually a really really good deal for that price uh, so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you guys want to see some more tests let me know and uh, yeah one ui is soon coming on the s8 and no date so stay tuned for those coverages and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out